Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1989 basically, but there are a lot of games on the Mega Drive, you know, uh, that didn't get the full arcade port treatment as such. E-SWAT is another one, and I want to put them in this series because it was still the only port we got of it on the Mega Drive, and this one is kind of interesting. Yes, I know the uh, the micros in the UK, you know, the Atari ST, the Amiga, Commodore, uh, Spectrum, Amstrad got ports of the arcade game. As Funnily enough, did the Master System have gameplays of them? But <clears throat> the Mega Drive was the machine for me in the early 90s, late 80s and early 90s, where we would expect there to be a decent port of the arcade machine. Funny thing is, I'll get into it, but there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Um, we got no decent home port of Shinobi on the uh, the Mega Drive, which always bummed me out as a kid, because yeah, there's an amazing port on the PC Engine, but surely not, could we have not had you know, a better version of it on the Mega Drive, but with the cartridge having more memory. I never understood that. We got Super Shinobi and or Revenge of Shinobi, which is an amazing, amazing game, but it doesn't play like the original arcade game of Shinobi, whereas Shadow Dancer on the Mega Drive does. Whether it's a port of the arcade or not, it has the same mechanics as Shinobi. So I don't know that's why they went that route. Maybe it was to get a game out quickly. Maybe it was to save cost or memory. Uh, maybe they thought they couldn't port it, but we were used to getting watered down home port. So I honestly don't know. If you know the real reason, I don't know why Shadow Dancer didn't get <clears throat> a, the full arcade treatment on the Mega Drive. Now, some magazines back in the day said that the arcade game was better than the Mega Drive uh, port simply because the Mega Drive didn't, you know, do it justice. But other ones said that the Mega Drive had better tighter controls, played a lot quicker and faster, and was superior game. I don't know. I remember CVG kind of turned its nose up at it and said, it's not the arcade machine. I borrowed it off a mate at school. Um, the only other kid after a couple of months, may I add, I had my Japanese Mega Drive, who imported it, then got bored of it, and then sold it to me. And I didn't like it as such, but now I can appreciate it as a good game. Anyway, we'll get into this now. But yeah, like I said, I don't understand why we didn't get <clears throat> the arcade treatment. I know it sold really, really well. You well, sold like 300,000 copies globally, but yeah. Now let's put some money in. Right. Plays pretty much the same as Shinobi. We've got the adequate mechanic of your dog, which you can charge up and use to stun enemies while you, well, twat them, chop them. You're fighting against a terrorist organization. I don't know if it's Z these days. Uh, I'm not sure. In fact, are you even Joan Shashi? Always struggle with that. Put some money in. Right, so mission one. <clears throat> obstruct the enemy's deadly mission. What do you mean obstruct? How about stop it? Alright, so jump. I can't remember how you do the dot. That sounded awkward. But yeah, I think, I think a lot of people complain about his difficulty, but I'm not saying it's easy. But as you can see, well there we go, he does it on his own. Oh, you got bombs to defuse. Yeah, as you can see, it plays like Shinobi. It's got this upper and lower tier, which I always loved about Sega games. You know, the, the fact that they got incredibly slowly firing dart guns, like that. You ain't got that bing 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 noise again. Yep, that's what it's called. You now have double, you know those double, hey you killed my dog you bastard. Oh no he's not, he's turned him into a shih tzu. Yeah, I would argue it's not as iconic as Shinobi, but then obviously it's a follow up, so the magic doesn't really kind of hit, you know, the same impression on you twice does it? But. It is nice graphics. It feels a little bit more confined. That might be this stage. I can't get my shits in to do anything, can I? Oh, close. Right. Oh, hang on. He just stays facing that way, because he's a... What? Well, he may be a stupid terrorist, but the other terrorist isn't, and he killed me. Look, there's Concord. And we're back. Are we back to the beginning? Of course we are. You know when I said I don't think it's that hard? Yeah. 
could be back to make myself look like a pimpy pee twat. But yeah, like I said, because we're talking more about um, trying to dance on the Mega Drive or the secret of Shinobi, the secret being it's not the, sh the arcade game. But yeah, we'll talk more about that when I play that one. But why did they go then that route, you know, on the Master System to give us an arcade port? Because you could argue, like, that's really, like, punching above its weight. I don't know. Like I said, if you know something I'm missing, by all means, let me know. Maybe it's out there. You know, maybe I just don't know because I should have got a white stick. You'll get that quote one day, I swear. Right. Music's not as memorable. Ooh, cheeky! Obviously, once you get in... It's that fucker you get in close, you melee attack again with your sword. Right, remember this time, but... Some more money in. In fact, what's my magic? There we go. Right, you don't have to be so overly dramatic introducing your magic for such an underwhelming magic attack. Right. I would say I think the original Shinobi is better graphics. What's that? 87, 86? Gotta remember where that bloke jumps out. Doink. Yeah, it's basically Shinobi, but you're wearing white. What's that? Before or after Labor Day, Labor Day, I can't remember. Right. Are we there yet? Oh. Oh, good. Right, it's there, isn't it? And I haven't got any more magic. Yeah, yeah. Get him! Right, reload. We're going to do something differently. This is going to hurt. No! Oh, he come from the window! Oh, he come from the window! I can't talk properly. That's what he did. Right. If I was you, I would have hidden the bombs. And then I would have been shit out of luck. Hey! Not removed. I forgot a bomb, have I? Where have I left a bomb? There, there we go. Yay, go to the next stage. Yoink. Sweet, stage one of one clear. It's got the same sort of map stages, kind of, you know, showing you where they are. They don't look like they're lifted out of a ring uh, folder. Look, it's Concord. True story, my dad uh, worked on Concord. He was a draftsman in the electrical system. Yeah. What's that? You Name of it? Irutu Fon Airlines. Sounds. I don't know, it sounds like some sort of awkward infection. What? I killed you! They're the ones you gotta watch who come up from behind. Look at him, he's the ping pong master. That's his name, seriously. Right, do you. There we go. Come on then. Oh, it's only a small flame this time. I'm out of light fluid. Ninjas need light fluid too, you know. Go on then, do your stupid. Yay! Alright. Yay! Well, there you go. Let's have a look at the Mega Drive version. The Secret of Shinobi. So, here we go. Shadow Dancer on the Sega Mega Drive, released by Sega in 1990. Not an arcade port as such, um, but pretty much plays just like it. And I don't know. If, if you know what, the, like I said in the first part of this video, if you know what the deal is as to why they didn't go to root port in the arcade machine, uh, was it, you know, memory restrictions? Was it laziness? Because even though this game, I liked it, you know, not initially, but even though this game got a lot, a lot of flag, I think a lot of effort's been put into it. And it's not this, you know, poor looking game as many people said back in the day. It pretty much follows uh, the same plot uh, premise, and you have, you, I honestly think you have better time controls in this. Uh, maybe it's less guys on the screen that you have to worry about, but your dog is certainly easier to control. Anyway, let's get into it. So there you go. Now, you check it out. 
we're going to go to the first stage, which is conveniently called Burning Downtown. Mainly because you're going downtown and it's burning. I see what you did there, Sega. Now, obviously, as you would expect, even if it's not an arcade port as such, um, the visuals are going to take a hit, the sprites are going to be smaller, but at the same time, they look the part, they really do. So as you can see, hold down far, my dog then goes and let go, and then if there's an enemy on screen, he'll run and do it. Bottom uh, left hand corner is my magic, it's not as over the top and you know, in your face as you know, it is on like the arcade, again it's like, like size restriction of the cartridge, um, as if he doesn't like talk to the screen and then goes batshit crazy, but it's pretty much the same magic. Spot right is the people that got arrested, because like the first game, I've got time top right, so I should go on there. Like the first game in the arcade, uh, oh, well, you could argue it was also the last one, but there's no bombs in this one, I'm just rescuing hostages. So, small strike, a nice parallax though, I've got a lot of it. The fire effect is nice, like I said. I mean, does it look as good as Super Shinobi? Or Revenge of Shinobi? I'm going to watch this. I'm going to call it Super Shinobi, because that's the version I had, and that's the version I wanted to have. I mean, is it as good graphics as that? Well, probably not, but it's not kind of the same game. So maybe that, that's why they, they, this is, like, you know, like this, give it more sort of... Because you could argue this is more in line with, um... Go on, then. Oh, shit, I thought that thing was going to blow out the floor. My bad. Yeah, more in line with the original Shinobi game in the arcades, play-wise, than, you know, the arcade version of this is. If that makes sense. I don't know, it's, it's a brain joke, but yeah. Like I said, when I initially borrowed it back in the day, I was disappointed, but it's grown on me. It's grown on a lot of people. Well, as I said, it was kind of marmite. Some people liked it more than the arcade, some disliked it, some thought it was a great game, some didn't. It was just split in the middle. Oh, there you go. Right. Get in, fight out. Oh, shit. I want to shoot my dog at someone. Oh, shit, yeah. The problem there is... Same thing, they all need the attack, he's a shit, so again. Hey, I can chop through all our walls, but yeah, you got your melee attack as well when you're getting close. You got your upgrade. This basically, well, it's not far in this one, but it replicates the sort of the rocket launch gun in the first game, doesn't it? way to, well, you kind of make yourself intangible as such, you? it's a get out of jail free card, as is jumping on, you know, people's heads and shit like that, again, all, you know, nicked from the first game, this one always catches people off, there you go, exit, time bonus, stage one of one clear, it's a shorter stage, easier or just better controls, stage one of two, this is when shit starts falling apart, mainly because everything's on fire, this is kind of a bland stage. Oh! Do you like the, the animation? Like I said, he may be small, but I do like the animation of the whole character. Get in. There you go, see? You ain't gonna shit see my dog there, pal. Like, watch out. Ooh! So the bug through come from behind. The music's great. I don't think it's the same way that did shit see you, maybe. Come out, see, come out the window. Low. Oh, hang on, is that? There's parallax there at the top. Yeah, really, they will learn to throw low. I'd be fucked. I'm kind of glad they don't. Hey! Get on, she don't go in the hole. Bloody fracking. I told you it was dangerous. I keep forgetting to use my dog. I'd use my power, I should say. Boss fight after this? Yeah, I told you fracking. And the government said it wasn't dangerous. Personally, I think, you know, we've got to get energy from some of my kids. All these people who piss them out and complain about these things and say, you know, no, we can do it, we can do it, and get organise all these rallies against it. Yeah. They're doing it with equipment that involves a fucking computer. Where do you think that power comes from? Sorry! Stay underneath his fireball and watch for shit falling from the sky. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it in one go. And then if shit does fall from the sky, use your uh, attack. Like that. Like I said, underwhelming compared to the other game. Oh, 
Fuck, I forgot to duck. <laughs> I'm not a very good ninja, am I? <laughs> Hang on, let's try this one. Jump and then run away. Next, I can't remember there were bonus stages in the other one, but again, these are you hit as many as you can, but they're not like they were in the original Shinobi, just in the same sort of vein, kind of a shoot 'em up one. But you don't have to worry about missing, it's all about score, but anyway. So you can see these are two levels I've just done a comparison of. Obviously, we didn't get to a boss on the first one, but yeah, okay, there's far more impressive graphics, but it's sluggish controls. This is entirely a different game to start, it plays exactly like it, it's a spiritual version of Shadow Dancer. I don't think it's as bad as, you know, people said it was back in the day, and I certainly don't think it's as graphically bad as people said it was, because when you get towards the end of the game, you've got the Statue of Liberty. It's all sorts of stuff. But, you know, if for whatever reason you know why they went this way, or maybe no one knows, I would love to know, but yeah. I'm going to do some more of these, which is when we're looking at games on the Mega Drive and or PC Engine, they were... Uh, not what we would have wanted, you know, if you wanted an arcade port, going a different route. Another example would be, obviously, eSWAT on the Mega Drive. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Were you incredibly disappointed with this? Did you want the arcade game? Or do you think it was better? Thank you very much for watching.